Everyone in Shavasana now, begin to relax your body. Arms apart, legs apart. Allow the toes to fall sideways, shoulders to relax down, away from the ears. Relax your legs. Relax the abdomen, relax the chest. Relax the back completely. Allow the spine to sink down. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck and the head. Ease out all the tension from your face. Let go in the mind, calm down your thoughts, calm down your feelings. And now bring the awareness to your breath. Make your breath long and deep. Make your breath rhythmic. Every inhalation, expanding the abdomen freely. And with the exhalation, contract the abdomen down towards the floor. Try inhaling to the count four and a complete inhalation, deep inhalation. And try exhaling out to the count eight, a complete exhalation. Keep breathing in this way. Just a few more times. Bringing the awareness to the body. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up and give a nice long deep stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body. Release the stretch. Turning to one side, please sit up. Let's begin the prayer.
Gajananam Buddhakanadi Sevitam Kapit Jambu Palisara Pakshikam Umasutam Shokavinashi Karanam Namami Vigneshura Pati Pankajam Shilananam Kumkumarakta Varnam Mahamatim Devi Mayura Vahanam Rutrasisunam Surasanyanatam Kuham Sadaham Sharanam Prabhati Yakundain Dutu Sharharatamura Ya Shukra Vastra Vrita, Ya Veena Vardhanda Manditikara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Chuta Shankara Prabhati Pee, Deva Sata Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishish Jarya Paha, Om Namashivaya Guru Ve, Satchitananda Murtai, Nishprapanchaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Hite Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ate Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangale Shive Sarvartha Sadike Sharanye Trimbake Gauri Narayani Namostate Narayani Namostate Om Shanti 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 Welcome to the class. Let's get ready. Good. Sit up straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. comfortable sitting position. Put the hands on your knees in chin mudra. Let's get ready for the Kapalabhati first round. Inhale a deep breath and begin. One, two, 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 one 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 breath, three quarters of your lungs, gently hold the breath. Slowly, gently exhale, inhale, exhale. The next round of Kapalapati. Inhale deeply, sit up straight and begin. One, two, 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 one, two. 
at the third eye center to hold the breath inhale a comfortable deep breath gently retain mentally repeat your personal mantra or the universal mantra om that will give you a better concentration so that you can hold on Slowly with control, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The last round of Kapalapati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two. One day, 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 one Tension, spreading your back, relax the shoulders, relax your neck and the face. Take a deep breath, comfortable breath, a little less than your capacity, and hold the breath gently. No tension in the body. Relax your abdomen, relax your chest, relax the whole body. And when you repeat your mantra, any discomfort, you may release the breath.
with control slowly exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale you may need to relax the body stretch your legs out shake out all the tension from your legs roll the toes clockwise and anti clockwise and get ready for the alternate nostril breathing and a long belong back this so you will choose a very comfortable sitting position so that you don't disturb the body for the practice or the entire practice right hand in vishnu mudra left hand in chain mudra spine straight chin parallel to the floor neck and shoulders relaxed through both the nostrils take a deep breath in hey expand the lungs expand the chest lengthen your spine and exhale maintain the length in the back one more breath in here and exhale now block the right nostril with your right thumb through the left inhale um one um two um three um four hold the breath close the nostrils right exhale um 1 um 2 um 3 um 4 um 5 um 6 um 7 um 8 inhale right um 1 um 2 um 3 um 4 gently hold close the nostrils Left exhale. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Um five. Um six. Um seven. Um eight. Inhale. Left. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Retain the breath. Close the nostrils. Right exhale. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Um five. Um six. Um seven. Um eight. Inhale, right arm one, arm two, arm three, arm four. Gently hold. Watch your mind. Try focus between the eyebrows at the third eye center and mentally repeat your mantra. Left exhale, arm one, arm two, arm three, arm four, arm five, arm six, arm seven, arm eight. Inhale, left arm one, arm two, arm three, arm four. Retain the breath. Relax the body. Spine straight. No tension in the neck, shoulders, and the face. Relax the top of the head. Relax the jaw. Through the right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain gently. Left exhale. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Um five. Um six. Um seven. Um eight. Inhale. Left arm one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Retain. Right exhale. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Um five. Um six. Um seven. Um eight. Inhale. Right. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Hold gently. No pressure anywhere in the body. If you tense any part, you block the flow of prana through that part. So remember to relax the body completely throughout the practice. Left exhale. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Um five. Um six. Um seven. Um eight. Inhale. Left. Um one. Um two. Um three. Um four. Retain the breath.
right? It's hey, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right? Um one, um two, um three, um four, hold. Watch your mind. If the awareness has moved outwards, gently bring it back. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Spine straight, hold gently. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently. This is the last round. Right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, hold, last attention. And through the left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Release the hand down. Stay there, relax your body with your eyes closed and normal breathing. And now keeping the eyes closed, please stretch the legs and lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your hands up and give a long stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body, move your toes forward, stretch your ankles and pull the toes in, push your heels up, press your lower back to the floor, stretch the entire body. Release the stretch, hug both the knees to the chest and press the lower back to the floor. Now rock the body side to side three times, knees dropping right, head turning left. Bringing the hands under the thighs, rock the body forward and backward. Producing heat in the spine Preparing ourselves for sun salutation. Surya Namaskar. Just three, four times and then stand up. First round of Surya Namaskar. Come to the top of your mat. Feet together, inhale and exhale. Hands to the chest in prayer. 
Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Don't bend the wrist. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, right knee down, toes away, chin up. Hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhaling, drop the knees down, hips up, chest down, forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, inverted V. Inhale, bring your right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, preposition. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the lift, click back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, large back. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips up, inverted V, look to the toes. Inhale, the left leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up, inhale, large back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, one. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, lift, leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands. Exhale, the left leg forward, press your hands down. Inhale, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, one. Inhale, two, exhale, three, lift, inhale, four, hold the breath, five, exhale, six, inhale, seven, exhale, eight, lift, leg, like inhale, nine, exhale, ten, stretch up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, other leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press the hands down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale, exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward, stretch down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way, look up, stay there and breathe. Push the leg, left leg a little more away if you can. And right knee on top of the right ankle. Chin is stretching up. Breathe. And now tucking the left toes in, take a breath, take the right leg back. Hold the posture, breathe here. Tuck the belly in, shoulders right on top of the wrist. And neck is in line with the spine, looking just a little ahead of your hands. Keep breathing. Strong mind, strong body. Holding with the abdominal strength and also building the strength in the abdomen by holding it. Building the strength in the arms and the shoulders. Slowly, exhale, drop the knees down. Keep the hips up, chest between the hands. Put it down or chin down. Elbows are close to the chest, elbows are pointing up. Very gently, gracefully sliding forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Lower abdomen down on the floor, pressing down. Shoulders away from the ears. On the exhalation, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, look to the toes, inverted V. 
stay there breathe press the heels down press the hands down upper arms in line with the ears try to reach with your chest down without separating your arms and the ears lift that energy up and the next inhalation bring your left leg forward between the hands push the right leg more back and breathe now take a time on the exhalation bring the other leg forward press the hands down shift your body weight forward get the chest to the thighs pour it towards the knees and if it's possible without lifting the hands up see if you can straighten the knees now keeping the upper arms in line with the ears lengthen forward inhale reach forward with your arms with your spine and reach up pull up with your waist push your hips forward look up to the hands head and arms in line exhale release just take two breaths separate your feet apart and we'll move on to the fourth round Now get ready. Inhale, feet together. Exhale, hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath. Other leg back. Exhaling, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. inhale the right leg forward between the hands look up exhale the left leg forward press down inhale stretch forward stretch up arch back exhale release inhale exhale one inhale two exhale three lift inhale four hold the breath five exhale six inhale seven exhale eight lift inhale forward exhale ten stretching up inhale large back exhale release inhale exhale one inhale two exhale three right inhale four hold the breath for exhale six inhale seven exhale eight right leg inhale nine exhale ten stretch up inhale large back exhale release inhale exhale one inhale two exhale three left inhale four hold the breath five exhale six inhale seven exhale eight lift leg inhale nine exhale ten stretching up eleven inhale arch back exhale release last round inhale and exhale one inhale two exhale three right inhale four hold the breath five exhale six inhale seven exhale eight right inhale nine exhale ten stretch up in heaven inhale arch back exhale release twelve last time on the left inhale exhale one inhale two exhale three left inhale four hold the breath five exhale knees chest and the four it down inhale seven cobra exhale eight inverted v inhale nine the left leg forward look up exhale ten the other leg forward press down inhale eleven stretch forward stretch up arch back and exhale release feet apart relax the body catch up with your breath
and please sit down, lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Slow down the breathing. Scan the body from toes to the head. And breathe into the tension, breathe into the tightness. Once the breath is easy, relax the entire body. Hold no tension anywhere. Just let go. Allow the benefits to get absorbed and assimilated in the body. Absorbing the energy which you've just created with the practice of sun salutation. Mm. Taking a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up, give a long stretch to the body and prepare yourself for the single leg raises, arms close to the body, palms facing down, feet together, toes tucked in, chin to the chest, shoulders relaxing down. Inhale, lift your right leg straight up, try not to bend the knees, watch your knees, open your eyes, push the heels out. Exhale slowly, release the leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. If it's not possible to keep the knee straight, please lower the leg a little down. That's not a problem. Try to keep the knee straight. Push the heel out. Exhale, release the leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Once more, the right leg up, inhale. Now support the right thigh, pull the leg close to the body. And on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, walk the hands more up, come up. Keep pushing the left thigh closer down to the floor. Chin is gently stretched up towards the right toes. And the right sole is facing up. Abdomen squeezes in on the exhalation and hold the posture with the strength of your abdomen. Keep the neck and the shoulders relaxed. It's very important to be alert in the entire body, to be alert in your breathing, to be alert in your mind. Slowly exhale, release the head down, hug the knee to the chest. Pressing the lower back to the floor. Now hold the leg in your arms like you do the rocking baby. So just get that leg in your arms. Open the knee sideways. Yes, correct. And on the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Wrap your arms around the leg and pull the leg closer to the chest. Feel the work on the hip joint, the right side and keep pushing the left thigh down. Neck relaxes, bring the awareness to the hip. Slowly exhale, release the head down, bring the knee to the chest. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. And with control, exhale, release the right leg down. Get the left leg up, inhale. Hold the left thigh and pull the leg in. As you exhale, lift your head up, chest up, hands more up if possible. Stay and breathe. Adjust your body, relax your body and slow down the breathing. And slowly release the head down, hug the knee to the chest, pressing the lower back down. 
Now holding the leg in your arms by opening the knee sideways. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Keep pulling the leg closer to the chest and breathe. Increasing the flexibility in the hip, in the hip joint. Slowly exhale, release the head down, hug the knee to the chest. Inhale, stretch your left leg up and with control, exhale, release the left leg down. Now adjusting the body for double leg raises. If the back is not feeling good or if you have a weak back, please slide the arms under the body. You can keep the arms close to the body, under the head, over the head. Toes tucked in, inhale, lift both your legs up, work with your abdomen. Knees straight, heels pushed out, slowly. Exhale, release the legs down, close to the mat, knees straight. Chin tucked in, inhale, come up, just six times. Exhale down, third time up, inhale. Exhale down, four up, inhale. Exhale down, five up, inhale. Exhale down, six up, inhale. Exhale down. Just take two breaths and we do one more set. Now everyone keeping the arms over the head, arms parallel, feet together, arms over the head, just as you were doing before. Inhale, lift your legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet, come up. Now cast. Exhale, go down, the legs down, head down, arms over the head. Six times we do, inhale, come up. Exhale down. Third time up, inhale. Not tensing the neck, holding the abdomen. Exhale down. Fourth time up, inhale. Exhale down. Fifth time up, inhale. Exhale down. And one more time, inhale, come up. Exhale down. Take two breaths and get ready to hold it. We're bringing so much flexibility, strength and agility to the body by doing multiple number of times, strengthening the abdominal muscles, abdominal organs. And now get ready to come up to hold at 60 degrees with the mat. Legs 60 degrees up, upper body 60 degrees. Head up, chest up, legs up, arms up, come up. Tuck the belly in. Flex your neck muscles. Hold on 10. Om 9, Om 8, Om 7, Om 6. Don't hold the thighs, just keep the arms here. Om 5, Om 4, Om 3, Om 2, Om 1. Slowly come down. Relax in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Relax your breath, relax the body. Um, slowly bring the legs together, interlock your hands up, give a long stretch to the body as you inhale, stretch your whole body, release the stretch, turning to one side, please sit up, into the child pose, Shishankasan, getting ready for the Hitston practice, Shishasana. Allowing the blood to flow towards the head, so just relax into the Vajras, into the child pose, Shishankasan. And now please sit up. Let's get ready for the practice. Sitting up on your heels, measure your arms along the knees. So holding the opposite elbows, bring the arms close to the knees. Stretch your arms forward, interlock your fingers. Now. Keep the top of the head down on the floor, back of the head on the hands. Lift the knees up, walk forward. Under the back is straight. Now, bend the right knee to the chest. If you're comfortable enough, take the left knee up. And very slowly, without losing the balance, 
Take the knees up. Go slow. And take the legs all the way up. Very good. Hold the head stand. Keep the belly tucked in. We'll hold for two minutes. For any discomfort, you may release by following the steps. And if you're still struggling, just keep the back straight and hold it there with one knee into the chest. That's all. Any day, you will be able to come up if you keep practicing in this way. Stand the Tingva Fasteners is one of the most beneficial postures for both mind and the body. And once you start to come up, you will realize that this is the easiest of all. The entire practice, this is the easiest posture to be in. It is just the initial phase that you're struggling. By reversing the normal effects of gravity, we're giving rest to the heart and we're relieving the pressure on the lower back by holding the posture. Inversion enhances the deep breathing, deep abdominal breathing. And it brings a lot of oxygen rich blood to the brain. So enhancing the memory, increasing the concentration. Just a few more breaths. Be patient with your practice. Now those who are doing the headstand, if you feel like it, go ahead with your own variations. And now here we will demonstrate scorpion if possible. Just get the legs together. Now bend the knees and get ready for scorpion. Separate the knees a little apart. Place the hands by the side of your head, scorpion. Arch your back, hands by the side of your head and try to lift your head up as you arch your back more. That's very good. Please follow the steps and release, come out of the posture. Bending the knees, bring the knees to the chest and release the legs down. Relax into the child pose. Please sit up to lie down on your back in Shavasan. Arms apart and the legs apart. Turn the hips side to side and take a couple of breaths. Mm -hmm. On the deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body. Get ready for Shoulder stand, Sarvangasan. Please the stretch, arms close to the body, palms down. Tuck the toes in, tuck the chin in. Inhale, lift your legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand. Sarvangasan. Take a while before you start adjusting. And now you may like to adjust your posture. When the knees to the forehead, Bring the elbows a little closer, hands a little more down. Once you're ready, lift the legs up again. Stay there, relax your whole body, push the hips forward towards the head. And try to hold the upper part of the back rather than the lower back. That's how the back will be vertically straight. And that's when you lock the maximum blood between the chest and the throat and the chin. Keep the legs relaxed, the feet, the calves. Allow the blood to flow uh, freely in the reverse direction.
once again it's an inversion which is helping you breathe automatically in deep abdominal way deep abdominal breathing taking place stimulating the thyroid and the parathyroid glands once again be patient to hold the posture few more breaths once the body becomes still any posture becomes an asana so when the body stills that's the time when it is working on the mind to work on the body now lengthening up a little higher as you inhale exhaling bring the right leg with control down over the head at the last inhale the right leg up exhale the left leg goes down the right leg is lifted away inhale the left leg up once more exhale the right leg down inhale the right leg up exhale the left leg down inhale up adjust lengthen as you inhale and on the exhalation very slowly with control release both the legs down over the head hal asana the plow pose if the toes are touching down and if you're comfortable enough please release your arms on the mat and if you're more comfortable interlock the hands away from the body If you are more comfortable bring the palms together and get the pinky fingers down. So remember to keep the knees away from the forehead wherever you hold and to keep the tailbone lifted up to spread in the back. The entire series of shoulder stand, the shoulder stand, the plow pose, the bridge, the sitabandhasan and the matsyasan the fish pose working on thyroid and parathyroid glands. once the back is straight each vertebra is getting a rich supply of blood and oxygen so remember that and we work on the abdominal organs so remember to deepen the breath into the abdomen now support the back inhale come up into the shoulder stand from here exhale down into the bridge pose setu bandhasan bending one knee or both knees together coming down feet coming down Now walk your feet away from the body make a long bridge feet together knees together knees straight walk forward with your feet more get the knees straight walk more forward now walk the feet back in and hold the ankles just a few more breaths stay up with your thighs parallel to the floor hips lifted up navel reaching up and slowly exhale release down take a breath and get ready for chakrasana hands under the shoulders fingers turned inwards heels close to the hips inhale lift your hips up press the hands down straighten your arms hold it there om 10 om 9 om 8 om 7 om 6 om 5 om 4 Om three. See if you can lift the right leg up. Very good. Down. The left leg up. Down. The right arm up. Down. The left arm up. Very good. Down. And slowly release down. Hug both the knees to the chest. press the lower back down rotate the knees clockwise and anticlockwise to massage your back
And now lifting your legs up as you inhale. With control, release the legs down. Get ready for counter stretching the body with Matsyas in the fish pose. Slide the arms under the body, tuck the elbows closely in. Hands stretched out. Inhale, head up, chest up, come up on your arms, look with the toes. Exhale, lift your chest up, arch your back, release the top of the head down. There is no pressure on the head. Almost all the body weight is on your elbows. So keep pressing on your elbows when you feel the pressure on the head. Chest is so wide open. Make a conscious effort to slow down the breathing, to elongate your breath, lengthening your inhalations, lengthening your exhalations. And slowly as you inhale, lift your head up, chest up, come up on your elbows, look to the toes. Exhale, release. Release your arms. Roll your wrist clockwise, anti-clockwise. Turn the head side to side. And relax in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Let's join the soles together and relax in Supta Vadikonasana today. Join the soles together. Soles, yes. Adjust your feet where you are comfortable, allowing the inner thighs to open and knees to come closer down. Keep the breath active, inhalations and exhalations very active. Shoulders are relaxing away from the ears and spine is down on the mat. Let's now give a long stretch to the body as you inhale. Legs forward, arms up. Stretch the whole body. Push your heels out. Stretch, stretch. Release the stretch and please sit up. Get ready for the butterfly. Join the soles together. Sit up straight from the lower back. Flap your knees. And now use the length of your mat, face forward. Stretch the legs out, bend the right knee, hold the right leg up in your arms for the rocking baby. Rock, start to rock the leg side to side. Now lift the leg a little more up towards the upper chest, stop rocking. Lift the leg up towards the upper chest, not doing any other change. Hold the leg how you were holding before this. And lift the leg a little more up towards the upper chest to work more on the hip joint. Still the body and close your eyes. Breathe. Now hold the right big toe with your right hand and stretch your left hand out to hold the left toe. Now pull the right foot up towards the right ear by pushing the right knee away from the body. Akkarnadhanurasan, that's very good. And slowly release. Release the leg down. Let's bend the left knee, hold the left leg up in your arms and start to rock it. Now lift the leg a little more up, press it into the upper chest. Stop rocking and press it into the upper chest. Wrap your arms around the leg, around the knee, around the foot. Try to lift the leg more up. 
Now, hold the left big toe with your left hand and reach with your right hand wherever possible on the right leg, hold the toe. Lift the left foot up towards the left ear by pushing the left knee away from the body towards the wall behind. Very good. And slowly release. Let's get ready for Pashivatanasan, sitting forward bend. Straighten both the legs out, push the heels out, push the knees down. Place the hands close to the body by the side of your hips. Dandasana, spine lifting up, legs pressing down like two sticks. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears. Lengthen your back, stretch from your waist. And on the exhalation from the base of the spine, stretch forward to reach down. Hold where you, wherever you're comfortable. Reach up to the toes, release the elbows down, release the shoulders down, away from the ears. Every inhalation, stretch the spine from the base, releasing the roundness from your back by stretching the chin forward. Every exhalation, just let go, surrender completely, squeeze the abdomen, work on the abdominal organs along with the spine. Leave all struggle behind and be comfortable, be happy with what you get this morning. Every day the body is different, the practice is different. Um, slowly stretching forward as you inhale stretch up exhale release the hands behind giving a counter stretch to the body with inclined plane head back toes forward inhale lift your hips up come up get the feet flat down holding om 10 om 9 om 8 om 7 om 6 om 5 om 4 om 3 on two, on one, slowly come down. Roll over onto your abdomen in Makarasan. Make a pillow with your hands, turn the head to the right. Big toes touching, heels fall apart. Completely relax the body, recharge the body, mentally prepare for the backward bends. Get ready for Bhujangasana, place the forehead down, tuck the elbows into the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders, elbows pointing up, feet together, toes pointing away. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Keep the lower abdomen down. Breathe here. Working on the spine. Mostly the upper and the middle. Keep pressing the abdominal organs, the abdomen down on the mat. That's how you work on the abdominal organs. Chest is open, enhancing the lungs capacity. And slowly exhale, release down. Turn the hip to the left, relax your body. <coughs> Get ready for Dhanur Asan, the bow pose. Put it down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, head up and the chest up, come up. Close your eyes, stretch your chin up, relax your face. And visualize more flexibility in the hip, lift up higher with your legs. 
stay up. Om 10. Om 9. Om 8. Om 7. Higher up. Om 5. Om 4. Rock the body forward and backward on the abdomen. Very good. And rock the body side to side. Coming back to the center, release the posture. Take a breath, relax your body just for a while. And now place the hands under the shoulders. Give yourself a nice stretch into Madhyasana, knees under the th hips, hands under the shoulders. Inhaling, stretch your chin up, push your hip back, arch your back. Exhale, round your back, tuck the chin in, tuck the belly in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, round. Inhale, release, come back to the neutral position and we bring it ready for the camel pose, Ushtrasana. Stand up on your knees, with your knees hip distance apart, feet hip distance apart. Stretch your right arm up as you inhale, arch back to hold the right ankle, same way with the left. And if you're not able to hold the ankle, just hold your back or you may tuck the toes in. Drop the head back. Now the main job is to push your hips forward, get your hip, thighs perpendicular to the floor. Keep pushing your hips forward, hold here, Om 10. Om 9, Om 8, Om 6, Minu, hold your back, Om 5, Om 4, Om 3, Om 2, Om 1. Slowly come up one by one, lifting the arms up, relax into the child pose. Shashankasan, keep stretching your arms forward and take rest. Please sit up and let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Drop the body down to the right side. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhaling, twist your body to the left. Lean forward, push the knee with your upper arm. Hold the ankle. Look to the left shoulder. Just be comfortable, you may keep hugging the knee. Idea is to feel pressure on the abdomen and twist. So by twisting, you are giving, the, giving a lateral stretch to the spine, where each vertebra receives rich blood and oxygen. And when you press the abdomen, when you feel pressure on the abdomen, you're working on the down organs. Keep both the sittings, rest, uh, sitting bones resting down. Keep opening the chest forward without any struggle. Keep the eyes closed. Internally adjust the body to have a good, good final posture. Now inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, release and change the side. Sitting on the left, bring your right foot across. Right hand goes back near the tailbone. Left arm up, inhale. First lengthen up as you lift the arm up. And on the exhalation, twist, lean forward, hold the ankle or wherever possible, just hold it. Hug the knee, whatever is good for you this day. Shoulders are in one line, sitting bones resting down. Look beyond the right shoulder this time and enjoy the asana.
Now inhale, slowly lift your left arm up. Exhale, release. Hug both the knees to the chest. Sit up straight. Inhale, stretch your chin up. Exhale, get the chin down. Come back to the center. Now let's get ready for the crow kakasan. Come up into the squatting position. Make a rough square with your hands and feet. Hands are turned slightly inwards. The knees resting on the upper arms. Look at a point in front. Looking at that point, shift your body weight from toes towards the hands. Lift one foot up and the other foot up. Take your time. Don't lose the concentration. Keep looking at that point. You can keep a cushion in front if you're not comfortable. That's very good. And slowly release. Please stand up. For the standing forward bend, come to the top of your mat. Feet together. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Lengthen up. And exhale, stretch forward, stretch down. Hold the ankles or hold behind the legs anywhere. Keep the knees straight. Shift your body weight forward from heels towards the toes. Chest to the thighs. Get the forehead towards the knees. Keep the elbows bent so that the shoulders can relax. Try not to tense the neck. Allow the blood to flow freely towards the head. And now dangle your arms loose, soften the knees. To release one vertebra at a time, please come up. Giving a counter stretch to the body, feet apart, support your back, drop the head back and push your hips forward. Inhale, slowly come up. Now, let's do the Trikonasan triangle pose using the length of your mat. Separate the feet apart, legs apart, three to four feet. Turn the right foot to the right. Left foot is turned slightly inwards. Now inhale, stretch your left arm up along the ear and on the exhalation, bend down, stretch down to the right side. Keep the right arm free to move down the right leg and not leaning forward. It's a sideways stretch to the body. Keep the left arm a little behind the ear to feel that stretch. Look in front. Or you may adjust your neck to look up. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release, change the side. Get the left foot out, right foot in, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, go down to the left side. Hips are square, hips are facing forward. So watch it. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release your arm. Now separate your legs a little more wide just for, for the last posture. We'll do Shisha Angushtasana. So, uh, Get the right foot out. Get the right foot out. And interlock, the, turn the upper body also to the right. Upper body also to the right. Interlock your hands behind. Inhale. And as you exhale, start to bend the right knee and bring the forehead or chin or the nose down by lifting your arms up. Keep going. As you lift the arms up, the head reaches down, closer down. Inhale, slowly come up and change the side. Interlock the hands behind, inhale. 
and as you exhale bending the knee come the cup down with your head forehead down keep going keep lifting your arms up inhale slowly come up release your arms and bring your legs together come to the top of your mat time for fun relaxation please sit down and lie down at your own pace come down arms apart legs apart slow down the breath slow down the body time to integrate the effects of this practice by relaxing in shavasana Now we do the tensing and relaxing of the body parts. Lift your right leg two inches off the mat. Tense the right leg. Tense it and drop it down. Lift the left leg up. Tense it. Tense, tense and drop. Squeeze the hips tight up off the mat. Release it down. Press the small of the back down. Let go. Lift your chest up. Drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears. Push the shoulders down. Lift your arms up. Make tight fist around the thumbs. Tight. Open your fingers. Tense your arms from shoulders to the fingertips and let go. Make a tight, ugly face. Squeeze all the facial muscles to the nose. Tighten your face. Release. Open your mouth. Pull your tongue out. Look to the forehead. Stretch your eyes. Stretch your face. Relax. Moving the shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right and to the left. Coming back to the center, make the final adjustment to the body. Keep the chin tucking in, toes falling sideways. For the next 10 minutes, we'll completely still the body and allow the prana which we've generated with this practice to get absorbed. Do not resist any moment in Shavasana. So if you resist Shavasana, you're wasting energy from the body. If the mind moves out, become aware and try to bring awareness to your breath. This energy which you Created with the 90 minutes practice is healing and rejuvenating to all organs and the body for functions, body systems. Let go in the mind. Calm down your feelings. Calm down your emotions. Any thought, any moment is disturbing. Let it come, let it pass away. If it stays for long, become aware and bring the awareness to your breath to the tip of the nose. Going for mental relaxation now. Relaxing the toes, the soles. Relax the heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees and the thighs. Relaxing the hips and the hip joint. Relax. Legs are completely relaxed. Relax your abdomen. Relax the chest. Relax. 
legs. Bringing the awareness to the back. Relax the lower back. Middle and upper back. Relax each vertebra in the spine. Relax. Back is completely relaxed. Bring the awareness to your arms. Relax the fingers and the palms. Relax the wrist and the forearms. Elbows and the upper arms. Relax. Arms are completely relaxed. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Relaxing the neck and the throat. Relax the back of the head, the top of the head, the forehead. Ease out the expressions from your face. Relax all the facial muscles, all the facial features. Relax. Relaxing the ears, the jaw, the tongue. Move the awareness deeper to the internal organs in the body. Send awareness to the abdominal organs to relax. Relaxing the lungs. The heart and the brain. Relax. Relax the mind. Relax the mind. Relax the mind. Mind is relaxed, body is relaxed, the breath is calm, breath is slow, You're completely relaxed, mind, body and the breath are in complete harmony, relax, relax, relax.
Slowly bring the awareness back to the body, move your toes, move your fingers, breathe a little more deeply, bring your legs together, interlock your hands up and give a gentle final stretch to the body. Releasing the stretch, bending the knees, turning to one side, please sit up. Let's wind up with the prayer. Thanks to our Gurus, Hari Om Tatsa, and thanks everyone.